you're so welcome please get hold of your pen because we are about to learn stuff today we are going to learn about an important aspect of language that helps us not only in the english language but across other subjects as well today we are going to learn about essay writing so first let's start by defining what an essay is what is an essay an essay can basically be understood as a formal writing that gives out an author's opinion and argument on a certain topic so when we write an essay we must have a topic and this topic is where we put our arguments forth so let us discuss the types of essays we have four major types of essays the very first one are narrative essays narrative essays these are telling a certain story or a real experience in real life when you write a narrative essay you are basically telling a certain story that happens in a real life situation and narrative essays they basically use the first person singular so when you write a narrative essay you write like i was the second type of essay descriptive essays these ones are sometimes called painting writing these ones explain describe persons places or things unlike narrative essays in descriptive essays the author should show and not tell now expository essays expository essays is an informative piece of writing that presents a balanced analysis of a certain topic the writer explains or defines a topic using statistics examples and facts the very last type of essay is what we call persuasive essays now persuasive essays what are these type of essays called persuasive essays persuasive essays can be termed as convince me convince me have you ever convinced someone over something now persuasive essays can be termed as convince me like expository essays persuasive essays use statistics facts and examples in arguments but the main goal is to convince the reader into believing the ideas and arguments of the writer and to accept the writer's point of view the writer must build a case using facts examples and statistics so dear students which among these four types of essays is it the one that we use to answer questions in our examinations if you have the answer you will go to the quiz session and answer that question so you will write your answer on the quiz section and we will see if you have understood the concept of the types of essays so dear students let's look on the parts of an essay any essay must have three major parts the very first part is the introduction whether you are writing an essay in history geography or other art subjects or whether you are answering an essay in english language question section d surely the essay that you will write will have three major parts the very first part will be the introduction now what's an introduction in an essay so an introduction is the general statement and information about the topic so when we write an essay we state the topic that we are going to discuss and basically that's what we call an introduction when you write an introduction you have to be careful because this is where you introduce the ideas that you are going to discuss the definitions will be found here and also other introductions on the subject the other part of an essay is the main body the main body basically supports the main ideas of the thesis statement this is basically where you are going to lay out your arguments when you are writing the main body you will come up with a different paragraph for every idea so every idea has to come with a new paragraph i always tell my students that when you're writing an essay okay examples could fit in in any paragraph but when you have a new idea basically a new idea comes with a new paragraph are we together again the main body you have to be careful with the paragraphs that you write the paragraphs must not be too long and the paragraphs must not be too short well a paragraph with the three lines that's way too small but again a paragraph with the 10 lines that's way too huge you have to moderate the number of lines that you write in a sentence basically fairly if you have around uh, six seven eight lines that's fairly okay and the last part of an essay is the conclusion now the conclusion is the brief summary 
of the major ideas that you've written in your essay. So this is where you basically summarize. This is where you sum up your ideas. You put them, you, it's like you wrap up the whole thing. So dear students, to finish up our today's lesson, I have a few main areas where you have to put your concentration so that you come up with a more legit essay. The first thing that I would insist when you are writing essays is your handwriting. Because an essay includes a lot of sentences and a lot of grammatical structures, you have to really be careful with your handwriting. Because the person who is going to read your essay must not find the struggles with identifying your symbols and letters. So, when you write an essay, make it your best effort that the handwriting is clear enough for the reader to read and understand. And the other thing is neatness. Make sure your essay is neat. Avoid crossing out things, sentences, you cross out letters. Make sure you are conversant with the points you are going to write before even you write them. This will prevent you from making a lot of mistakes and end up cancelling them. And the other thing that I would like to insist is time management. When you write your essay, you have to manage your time. Make sure that you're not writing too fast because you will make a lot of mistakes down the line. Again, do not be too slow because when you're too slow, you will be caught up by time. So, dear students, to sum up, let us do a review of what we learned today. We learned what an essay is, then we learned the parts of an essay. We said we have expository essays, descriptive essays, narrative essays, and persuasive essays. And then we looked on parts of an essay and we said we have an introduction, the main body, and the conclusion. And I gave you an insight on how to go around writing your essays. So today we were only looking on the basics of writing an essay. Dear students, on the quiz session page, there are questions. Make sure after this video you go and pick one question for practice then you write well legit essay and let's see who wins on the next video i will announce those that did writing their essays and probably i will share with them uh, your pictures so that you get to know these students and where they come from again do not forget to come back on Fridays for the live session where I answer questions, the ones that you send, and consultation that is done online every Friday. And surely we will be ready to learn together. Until next time, please be good, be safe, be blessed, do your homework. Until next time, ciao, ciao.